All right, here we go, round one, two of the biggest superstars in mixed martial arts today. How good is this? Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. The question beckons, though, will this fight look different than the previous two? Well, it has to if you're Nate Diaz because he fell behind in the second fight. Conor was able to knock him down on a number of occasions because he could not get out of the way of the left hand. Nate needs to learn to move, and I love the adjustment of McGregor in fight two by going to those leg kicks that he did not have in the first fight. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Right hook to the body. Double jab landed there by McGregor. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponent, and this looks like the start of that. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Colin McGregor. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working trying to shut the liver down. Massive knee lands from the tie flinch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick lands. Goes to the body there. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice straight punch there by McGregor. That shot blocked by Diaz. And that one certainly found the target. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the next Huge connection there, DC. He massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Nice loop and punch. And that left hook landed on the button. 30 seconds now to go on the round. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display? Listen, relax and breathe. You're gonna be okay. It's fine. You've been here before. You just got... And just like that, here we go with round two. Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Lands with the right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Liver kick. Good punch, Lance. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Connor. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And that's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that landed perfect. And that one landed perfect. So we call on the fight stats here, DC. 62 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Nate Diaz. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Diaz gets caught with that punch. McGregor's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. So there, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh! 
Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh, in Tom Brady. <laughs> stop it. John, stop it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Good stick. with that right hand. 30 seconds to go in round two. Beautiful strike. 20 seconds now remaining in the round. Two strike lands there and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be still. Third and final round. Yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, that big knee. knee. That knee. 